This is Run Jesse, Part 9 by A.V. Songbird. I'm not looking to kill you, Jesse. His voice purred at her some time later that night as she hid behind a bookshelf near a window. Aren't you? She called back to him, ducking around a pillar and dashing out through an archway, ducking out of sight as he came into the room. If I wanted you dead, you would be, he reasoned, and she hated him for the smirk she could hear in his voice. Then why? She shook her head at a loss. I mean, if you don't want to kill me. She gasped as she suddenly saw him seem to appear before her out of nowhere, forcing her to slam back against the wall behind her as he stepped in even closer, effectively pinning her in place. His voice rumbled lowly in his throat as he bowed his head forward, inhaling through his nose as he brushed it along the underside of her chin before he lifted his head to meet her gaze as her eyes opened. I can almost taste your fear, he purred, his dark eyes glittering hungrily as his cruel grin widened. Taste good? She shot back, glaring at him and trying her best not to show him how frightened she was. You have no idea. He purred at her with the same wicked, cruel smirk on his lips, his eyes glittering hungrily as they burned into hers. She gasped as she saw the flash of the blade of the knife she'd almost forgotten he had, wincing as she felt him drag the tip downward along her left cheek, scoring her flesh and bringing a thin trail of blood to the surface. Suddenly the knife was gone as though it had never been, and she gasped as he brushed his fingertips along the cut he'd made on her cheek, feeling the searing heat of his flesh burning her before he withdrew his hand and lifted it, to show it to her as her eyes opened. Want a taste? He smirked at her, his fingertips smeared with her blood. She turned her face away, swallowing over her comeback along with her revulsion over his actions, knowing Sass would do her no good with someone as crazy as he was. The more she fought him, the more he liked it. If she'd learned nothing else about him since the first night he'd come for her, she'd learned that much. Mind if I have one, he purred at her. Little late to ask for my permission, isn't it? She asked him, swallowing hard as she saw him slip his fingertip into his mouth, seeing him suck her blood off of his finger as he drew it out again, and hating him for the smirk on his lips. You wanted this, Jessie, he purred at her. What? She shot him a wondering and suspicious look. All those nights curled up in the dark in your bedroom with your laptop, safe and sound and cozy in that safe and sound and cozy little life of yours. Sheltered, protected, his grin broadened, safe. He seemed to be mocking her, his eyes glittering dark, hungry as he held her gaze. Your soul called out to me from the darkness brought me up from the depths. You wanted this, Jessie. Admit it. How could I want this? She shook her head desperately to dismiss the idea, her eyes wide at the thought. How indeed. He smirked at her, catching her gaze again. She cried out as he suddenly came forward, curving his hand around her neck and slamming her back against the wall once again, sliding his hand upward and forcing her to tilt her chin upward as he bowed his head low over her shoulder, his touch scorching every inch of her flesh as he came into contact with it as he directed his lips towards her ear. You tried to tell yourself that you were sweet, innocent, Simple. That your simple, uncomplicated life was enough for you. That that boyfriend of yours was enough for you. But now... She could hear the smirk in his voice now as it curved his lips and she hated him for it. Night after night when he left you alone, you sought me out in the darkness. Out of your boredom, your loneliness, 
your emptiness. You wanted the nightmare, the demon. His voice rumbled lowly, sending shivers running down her spine, down her legs, and into her toes. The monster. And here. He bowed his head, whispering his lips along the underside of her jaw. I. He whispered against her chin, bowing his head low over her other shoulder, directing his lips towards her other ear. M. He smiled against her flesh. That's the end of Run Jesse, Part 9, by A.V. Songbird. Sleep well, guys.